Hello everyone, during the next five minutes we'll be talking about the Internet of Anything, how Hortonworks can help you unlock its potential, and we'll actually be showing you a demo of the Hortons Gym. My name is Mark Lockpeeler, I'm a partner engineer at Hortonworks, and I'm excited to be your host today. In 2013, it was estimated that there were 2.8 zettabyte of data collected in our cybersphere. By the year 2020, that estimate is going to grow to 44 zettabyte, and 85% of that data is going to be coming from new connected devices. This new data paradigm opens up tremendous opportunity both for architectural and operational transformations and it applies to virtually every industry. There is no organization in the world better positioned to support this rapid growth of machine, sensor, and human interaction. Here at Hortonworks we're accelerating the Hortonworks data platform to be able to incorporate IOAT data flows in flight, peer-to-peer, -peer, leveraging the Hortonworks data platform powered by Apache Hadoop. And at this time, I'm incredibly excited to introduce to you Hortonworks Data Flow, which delivers to you the industry's most complete solution for big data management. With Hortonworks Data Flow, we can collect, conduct, and curate IOAT data flows it is powered by Apache NiFi, and it's been proven for eight years at the NSA. We're focused on helping organizations move from reactive to proactive decision making, both with data at rest and data in motion to support usage cases like preventative maintenance, resource optimization, behavioral insight. We've been focused on future state analysis by bringing traditional data sources together and combining those with new data sources into a data lake for predictive insight. And we've also been focused on stream processing and uh, the next best action. Some real world usage cases um, in preventive maintenance, we're working with oil service firms. With resource optimization, we're helping you electric utility organizations. And in the insurance industry, we're helping with smart auto policies. The demo we're going to show you today is called Horton's Gym. It's built on a data lake with the YARN-enabled architecture. We're going to have uh, heart monitor data coming in to an inbound message queue, uh, Apache Kafka, and that is going to go straight into uh, Apache Storm. And we're going to move that data uh, in its uh, raw form into HDFS for future batch processing. We'll have a real-time serving engine in HBase, uh, feeding an operational dashboard. And we're also going to be doing interactive query using HiveQL. So let's get into the demo. You're looking at the main screen for the Horton's Gym dashboard. We're going to bring up the heart rate uh, monitoring screen, and we're going to actually start to simulate entering data into our iPhone. Now, you could do this with your iPhone. We could actually strap on a heart monitor. But another easy way to do this is just to enter data from our iPhone. Now you can see that the data is going to be showing up. It's actually getting evaluated uh, through Storm uh, and a PPML model. So if you look at uh, entering a, a data point that's um, above a certain threshold, uh, then you're going to actually get a different display on the Hortonworks gym. And we could see um, from entering data uh, from our iPhone uh, that we can actually uh, collect it, run it through a PMML model, and have it output to a dashboard. So a great way to demo uh, Horton's Gym is to actually use uh, a dynamic uh, heart rate uh, simulation uh, class. And we've got one of those. And I'm going to actually just run it for us here. And we can see that our dashboard is going to light up. And um, we're going to see that any heartbeat over um, 189 is going to show up in red and then um, as we can see a couple flashing here uh, in green. And the other thing we can do is we can actually look at um, Horton's Gym over the last 15 minutes to see all the data that's been coming in and we can actually see everybody's name um, we can see geographically where they're located and how heart rate's going. So this is an awesome app. 
Um, and I'm going to actually show you how you can download it and, uh, and, and work with it in your own shop. Um, we want to show you a uh, storm uh, Ambari view um, of the Hortons gym real quick. So we'll just go into Ambari views off of uh, storm. And here we go. It's an awesome view of um, the topology, the data coming in through Kafka, going through storm, out to all the different and various locations that we talked about. The other thing we could do, and uh, this is the last piece of the demo, is I just wanted to show you that we have a high view as well. Uh, we can actually go in, look at the default database. Here's our HR data that's been flowing straight into Hive. Let's just go ahead and run a quick query. The query's being submitted, and there you go. You can see all of our, uh, all of our data um, in the results screen. The demo you've been watching today has been powered by the Hortonworks Data Platform, which is uh, an enterprise-level Hadoop delivered completely in the open. And with the addition of Anyara, that is the organization we brought in, uh, who developed Apache NiFi, um, we are um, taking on the internet of anything in this exciting time in our uh, modern data era. Here's some references for you. So if you'd like, you can go out there and uh, download the Horton's Gym yourself. Um, Emil Simmons is our outstanding technical staff member in EMEA who has built um, the entire um, application. And uh, we've also got a setup tutorial video for you if you want to uh, walk through it and run it yourself. Hope you have a great day.